Anthony Edwards is one of the NBA's brightest young stars. His scoring ability and jaw-dropping athleticism that leads to breathtaking highlights brings joy to basketball fans of all ages. Despite being only 22, this is already Edwards' third playoff appearance, while he's consistently raised his game as a scorer in the postseason. What we've seen so far through two games against the Suns is a terrifying thought for opponents. Edwards is showing continued growth as a playmaker, and the sheer threat he offers as a scorer is leading the opportunities for teammates. I'm going to take a deeper dive into the this trend and how continued growth in this regard will only solidify the likelihood of him becoming a top five player in the NBA. Before going any further, it's worth pointing out Edwards did show growth as a playmaker this regular season. He ranked in the 80th percentile in pick and roll including passes where he consistently created shots for himself and others. However, the playoffs are a different animal. Games are played at a slower pace, it's more half-court offense, and opponents are making game-to-game adjustments to try and eliminate your strengths. This is what impressed me so much about Edwards' Game 2 performance. In Game 1, he played like a budding superstar, scoring 33 points on 58% shooting. Now Game 2, he scored just 15 points, making 25% of his shots, but Edwards wasn't forcing the issue, and instead got his teammates involved. Considering Edwards is the one player the Timberwolves have that can consistently create his own shot, the Suns and other opponents are going to throw an array of defenders and coverages at him. While there will still be turnovers that you'd expect out of a young player, Edwards is taking what the defense has been giving him so far this series. Just take a look at this early possession from Game 2. This looks like your standard high pick and roll where Rudy Gobert is setting a screen for Edwards. However, take a look at the Suns' defense as he's about to pass. Edwards' defender worked through the screen, Gobert's defenders focused on the ball, and Mike Conley's defender rotated to help on Edwards. While Edwards makes a simple pass, the attention he drew led to a clear path for Conley to get downhill left the Suns' defense scrambling and resulted in a layup. With a dynamic first step, Edwards is lethal when he gets downhill off drives. The Suns want to limit that as much as possible, but the Timberwolves and Edwards have had instances where they create offense in spite of it. Here's a possession from Game 1 that on the surface looks like your typical pick and roll. Though Kyle Anderson sets a quick ghost screen where he then drifts towards the paint. This not only led to a switch for Edwards, but his initial defender is still focused on the ball. As Edwards gets downhill, Kevin Durant understandably rotates the help. That's now three defenders on Edwards. Though as Durant helps with Edwards, Nikhil Alexander-Walker drifts to the corner for an open look. By the time Durant tries to recover and contest the shot, Gobert is already ready and sets a screen which in this case led to a clean shot and three points for the Timberwolves. Given his ability to get into the paint at will or hit jumpers off the dribble, Edwards is also a dangerous isolation scorer, though the attention he can attract from that also helps teammates. This isolation possession from Game 1 just shows what the threat of Edwards can do to create offense. The Suns have a small lineup on the floor, but right away this possession starts with Gobert rolling to the rim and Alexander Walker setting another quick screen before moving to the wing to get Edwards isolated. Though Edwards isn't in full attack mode yet, Alexander Walker's defender then appears to quickly stunt to show Edwards a double team. Though Edwards quickly notices this and passes to Alexander Walker, which forces the Suns' defense to scramble. Since Alexander Walker's initial defender stuck with Edwards, Kevin Durant now has to rotate. He doesn't have enough time to get there, but there's now another option to make an extra pass for an open corner three. Regardless, the end result was another three points for the Timberwolves. So with Edwards' improvement as a facilitator and the threat of his scoring creating advantages, what are opponents left to do in the postseason? Ideally, you'd still want a supporting cast to beat you, though through two games that hasn't worked out for the Suns. Alexander Walker and Nas Reed combined for 30 points off the bench in Game 1. Then Jaden McDaniels led all scorers with 25 points in Game 2. That doesn't even account for the Timberwolves being fantastic on the defensive end this year. All I know is that with Edwards' growth the past few years as an all-around player, we as basketball fans could be watching the beginning of something very special.